Hey guys, it's Suresh. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning into this video with me today. Well, this is gonna be my very first vlog video. Um, I am super excited about doing this because for a little while now, a few of you have been asking me to consider vlogging and I just never really thought I wanted to, but anyway, um, I'm very excited. In a week or so, I'm heading out to LA for DragCon and I wanted to um, give you guys a little kind of uh, a journey through what I'm going through, um, as well as uh, show you my outfit a little bit. Uh, I have never been to DragCon before. This will be the first time. I'm so very excited. I am going with Hexgen, AKA Christian, uh, Mark Jonathan Repaints, who does amazing repaints on his channel, and then Malibu Dollface. Um, who I adore so much. All three of them are so talented. They do such cool things. We have all been Barbie fans for a long time. We connected um, a little while back and we've been chatting for a while now, way before the drag con thing came into the picture. But um, I just kind of, uh, I saw Hexton talking about drag con one day and I just kind of like invited myself. <laughs> and then from there, we just kind of started thinking and. Um, invited Mark and um, Bijan and the Barbie thing just kind of happened because it just seemed so natural for all of us because we love Barbie so much and I thought that this would be a really fun experience for for me to try drag out like real drag for the first time um, I had done like you know a, a half-assed version of drag in like 2007 I think it was and um, I had wanted to really get more into it ever since, but never really had the opportunity to, never really had the proper place to do it, um, or the proper opportunity, I guess. Um, and I never really felt like I trusted anyone enough to help me with the process. You know, it's drag is an involved art. Like you can either like do it or you can like do it. So I really want to like do it this time. And, um, I'm gonna name myself Nina Manasha. <laughs> and if you are familiar with Wisconsin, you will know that Nina and Manasha are two separate towns in Wisconsin. Uh, I heard about this a couple of years ago while I was having, I think, lunch or dinner or something with a, with a bunch of Wisconsinites, and one of them was like, oh, I'm from Nina, and the other one was like, I'm from Manasha. And my ear just went, ding, what? That's like the perfect drag name. <laughs> So I've been saving it ever since, and now I finally get to use Nina Manasha. So yeah, um, in terms of like which Barbies we're all being, by the time you guys see this video, you'll have seen our photos and everything. Um, we went back and forth. Everyone, you know, went back and forth on what they wanted to do, what they, who they wanted to be. I, for a while, thought that I wanted to be like an Indian Barbie because there's a kajillion of them, and you know, low key, I've always wanted to like wear really amazing Indian garb. Um, but the more I looked into it, it was just so involved and so expensive to do it correctly. And I also don't really want to be like draped in like all this fabric and just kind of like not have done it justice. Do you know what I mean? So I decided that I'll do um, kind of like a Barbie inspired model muse look. And that was the doll that I chose because y'all know I love my Model Muse Barbie. I just kind of pieced together inspiration from a bunch of different dolls that I love. Um, and I thought I would give you guys a little peek into what I got. By the way, yes, I am still settling in, so don't mind the boxes. Um, my closet. <laughs> so this is the gown that I got. And I'm really, really excited about it because it's beautiful gold micro sequin like a muted gold at that and there's like a little train to it which i think is so pretty and i love 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 it has like a nice heft to it too which is beautiful so this is gonna be um on sunday because we're all going to the convention on saturday but we're dressing up as boy drag well the boy versions right um and then Sunday will be our drag day. So on Saturday, I'm gonna wear this, which will be for you guys, um, when I post it on social, like a little, um, a little peeksy, a little um, preview of what's to come on Sunday. 
it's a little bit different gold you can see this one's more muted this one's more more um yellow but you know y'all get the point and then with the gown i have these beautiful silver pumps that i got you guys know how much i love shoes and i'm always so inspired by beautiful women's shoes so i'm super excited for these um they have a nice skinny skinny heel so that's that and then i have this gorgeous little pink clutch that i'm gonna put all my goodies in and then some pink gloves as well uh, I think this will save me from having to, like, shave my arms and put nails on and all that because I'm already intimidated with everything else. Um, and then on Saturday, I have the boy version of the silver pump. So, love these so much. And then here's my wig. Here is all the other undergarments and underpinnings and stuff makeup is sitting in the case so yeah um i'm excited oh and then i got this pink um tool a couple of yards of this beautiful soft pink tool that i'll use as like a stole to just kind of like wrap around myself a little bit because i feel like a lot of um barbies especially the more glam ones um, had, you know, like a little bit of a wrap or a stole. I was looking for like something like a faux fur, but I'm not sure how warm it's gonna be in there. And I just don't really wanna die of like heat stroke, you know, especially because I've never worn a wig and stuff before. And I'm a little nervous about that. So yeah, that's the look. Um, oh, and lastly, I wanted to show you these as well. These are the earrings that I got to go with the look, and they are so freaking gorgeous, gorgeous. I mean, I bought another pair that I thought was really pretty that I actually storied. It had like pink stones in it, but they were clip-ons. And when I put them on, they just felt very like unstable. And considering that I already have pierced ears, it just made more sense for me to get like a pierced version, you know? So anyway, um, that's the preview. Stay tuned as I get everything ready and then I'm going to start vlogging probably like Friday, the day that I leave, um, which is in about a week. And um, wow, this is like great lighting. Anyway, you're also getting a peek into my closet. So look at that. Two birds with one stone, huh? <laughs> All right, stay tuned. All right, so it is Friday morning, early morning. I am all packed up and about to head to work. And then from work, I'm heading straight to the airport um, to go to LA for DragCon. So I am so excited. I've been chatting it up with the boys and um, we are just so excited to see each other and be in LA together and um, start chatting drag. So let's go. Hey guys, made it to LA, checked into my room, and guess who's here with me? <gasps> hello, it's hello, hello. And <gasps> it's me. Mark Jonathan, yay! <laughs> and we have our patron saint here, wait for it. <laughs> our lady of everything is here. <laughs> Woohoo! Our lady of life is plastic. <laughs> <laughs> it's Friday night, uh, I think almost 1.45 in the morning. Um, Christian, aka Hexton, and Mark Jonathan, and I went out for some dinner. We met up with some other um, Instagram drag friends, <laughs> and um, we just went out and had so much fun. We went to see a great show, um, a drag show, and have some drinks. We we're all exhausted, and now we're back in our hotel room, ready for some sleep and I am so excited for tomorrow. Like, so excited. We have not met up with um, our last friend yet, who is Malibu Dollface, who by the time you guys see this, you'll already know. <laughs> I've been up for almost 24 hours and I feel exhausted, but I'm so excited. I'm just, I'm so happy to be with guys that 
are just so sweet and fun. You know what I mean? Like, we just get each other and it's so nice that we can all have conversations and they just understand what I'm talking about. It's just great. I adore them and I'm so freaking excited to spend the next couple of days with them. Yeah. Anyway, good night. Saturday morning, up bright and early. I decided that I needed to go get a haircut. And <laughs> just don't feel cute without my fresh fade. So here we are on the hunt for a barbershop. I hope we don't get attacked today. Uh, but yeah, so fun. Oh my god. Yeah, oh my god. god. I'm glistening. Yes, oh my god. This banshee. <laughs> you should have just worn this and no shorts. Yeah. That's dry cloth. I thought about it, Look, but I can't. You can buy a gold underwear. Underwear. I was they have underwear boots. Yeah. yeah. You should, honestly. Instigator. <laughs> Instigator. <laughs> I'm heading there. Hexion looks amazing. That's Hexion's version of boy drag. This is my version of boy drag. And that's Mark's version of boy drag. Hi. So this is the preview for tomorrow, which by the time you guys see the video, you'll already have seen, but I'm glistening. Glistening. Oh, is that what? Here we are. Pop that highlight, honey. Walking in. There's the convention center. Everyone's on their phones. <laughs> There's downtown in the background. Excited. How's the highlight? Yes, a little bright, but. Walking inside but it looks like I think we are arriving at a good time because it's not super liney. It's good lighting in here. Ooh. Lots of interesting characters, you guys. It's um, 
children are here. It's just a very interesting experience. Um, very convention-like. And I've been to many conventions before, Cosmocroft and all the big beauty and fashion ones. Um, it's like that. You know, I'm not sure what I was expecting, but it's cool. I like it. It's just fun watching what all people are wearing. Finished our first day of drag con. Kristen and I are headed to Christian's favorite place on earth, good old Starbucks. Yes. Okay. All right, out we go. Ooh. It's cold. Oh, it's cold. I told you. You should have brought a jacket. All right. We did okay, it. We so did it reverse today. Let's go this way. All right. Get your eye drops. Christian, tell me what you thought of your first day at LA Drag Con this year with. Everything. Everything. It was good. You know, I really ha I wanted to do drag both days, but... You committed. Things happened. Wig happened. Costume was not a mess. Uh, um, it was a mess. But, um, yeah, I mean, I wanted... We were going to do... I, I had thought that we were going to do... <laughs> we glam, said boy drag. Boy drag. <laughs> so there's a drag there. Yeah. You know. You made it work. So you I pulled committed it out. To you the, really my, did. My boy drag. Yeah. Which is heels and androgynous look. Yeah. I was fun though. Yeah. Um, I mean, we wanted to scour like and map out the drag con first. Yes. So tomorrow we're not like in our heels. Yes. In pain. For sure. So it was For good sure. though. You're was also fun. like a very diligent drag con shopper. What do you like, mean? You really look at the booths to see what people oh, yeah, are yeah, like. Yeah. Well, I love supporting the artist. Yeah. That's fantastic. Because, you know, you, that's how you kind of connect with all the artists on Instagram, obviously, it's all, it's all of them are there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care for all of the, the there's so many random booths, like a yeah. freaking reading booth. Yeah, or like, we're all kind of like exploiting the opportunity. Yes, or like, like teeth whitening booth. I'm like, yeah. why are you here? <laughs> so, this yeah. you it's your first, it's his first time. Yeah, it's my first how time. How was the, your experience? It was really fun. Mm -hmm. Um... I'm not sure what I was expecting in terms of it being like glammy, but it's a convention. Yeah. And it was well, Did you just expect so it fun. to be more like a party? Kind of, I think. Like a beauty party? Like a, yeah. Yeah, and I'm not sure why yeah, I no. thought that, but I think it's just because no, of the photos. All that I've ages, seen. pets are allowed, yeah. children so. are allowed. Yeah, it was good. It was fun, and I think like being there with you and Mark and Malibu it just made it so much more fun, you know? Yeah, yeah. like it's, cause like you guys, like you and Mark are like the pros, so it was nice to like, you know, kind of yeah. like trail behind and be like, okay, now what, now what? But yeah, um, that's interesting, Young Love. Yes. We're um, in West Hollywood right now, yes. and we're walking down. Um, Rainbows everywhere. Well, everywhere. not like What is the sunset? Friend, but Santa Monica, sunset? Sunset. Sunset Boulevard, I think. And yeah, we're just having fun. Sorry, I was looking at a dog. <laughs> Dogs are everywhere. Oh. Anyway, um, yes, day two is next, so Coming stay up. tuned. Yes. We have to, like, we have to gather our energy. Yeah. For tomorrow. And eat healthy. Yes. We need to plan tomorrow, too, because it ends at four. So, we have to really wake up early. Yeah. Get ready early. I feel like we're going to be up very early. We, I'm gonna we be up have very to early. be up early. Yeah. Um, you know, and just work it, you know, for four hours. Hopefully, we get there at 11 this time. Okay. What do you think? Oh. What time? Um, are you thinking? The three of us, when you were off, thought maybe we'll do like 12 to 2. Okay. 
but we can go 11 to 2. <laughs> You're just extending our standing time. So. Oh, I was like, because I always want to max it out. So I've always yeah. pushed for. No, that's good. You're like, good at that. Okay, 12 to 4. Which and is Christian is good with the heels. Like, he kept his Louboutins on. We were. I would I say was 75%. Very proud. Yeah, but that's good. Yeah. Okay. Stay tuned. Good morning. It is Sunday morning. It's second day of DragCon for us. I have shaved for the first time in probably mm, 10 years or so. And it feels weird. This is what I look like without facial hair, in case you're wondering. Christian and I are about to get ready. Yes, snatch that waist. <laughs> um, yeah, I am super, super excited. And I'm very nervous to keep up with these boys because they're pros. Oh no, you are. You're a freaking professional. Keep up with everyone else. <laughs> we got Barbie there in the corner yes. watching out for us. Watching out for us. <laughs> oh my God. All right, guys, stay tuned. Here is the finished makeup look, for the most part, it's finished. Oh, it's okay. Um, this took a little over two hours. Ina Manash is coming along. <laughs> Gotta say, I'm pretty proud of myself. I haven't done drag makeup like this ever. It's good, it's good. Christian's over here. Yeah, struggling. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever she struggles with, it ends up looking amazing. You said the same thing yesterday, and I was lit when you were done. So, Damn. now I'm going to go shave some girly slash boy bits and start getting ready. Put it here. If you okay. Get of it. Looks all done. My earrings. Hair's on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think? Here we go. Like such a bitch. <laughs> Here is Proudly Pink and there's debut. Say hi Barbies. Hi Barbie. Hey Barbie. Hey Barb. Hey Barbie. Hi. Hey girl. Oh, I have a situation now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Surprise. You're the All right, off we go. Barbies. Hey Barbie. We came to the line. Hey Barbie. Oh. Hi Barbie. Hi. Hi Barbie. Hi Barbie. Hi Barbie. 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 Day two, drag con, us Barbies, we're here. we're here. All the way from debut yeah. to articulated silkstone, to 90s glamour, oh. to the model news realness, Penny. Hello. 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 Life in the dream. Hi. Hi. Woo right. Clearly we're having way too much fun. But we're, um, let's get up here for feet. Feetsies.
whip. Yeah. <laughs> Liar. Oh, I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> Dragon is done. We are exhausted. My ears hurt. My feet hurt. Um, the girls were a hit. We're having so much fun though. Now we're getting ready to girl. We gone. We're gonna go change. We're gonna go change, and we're gonna go drink, and we're gonna go eat. We haven't eaten all day, true Barbie style. I had, for real, I you know, had air, low fat. You heard it, you heard it. But don't you feel like you and then us all kind of chiming in and being like, what kind of Barbie do you like? Or what from what era people were like, hmm. Oh, like, absolutely not, I am not Melody. <laughs> How dare you? Yeah, but you did that so well. Barbie would be very proud of you. And this pink bitch right here. Meanwhile, the one that Suresh and Y reviewed. The newest one, so. <laughs> <laughs> the newest one, the freshest. The, the freshest, freshest out of the box. Meanwhile, Camille Grammer over here. <laughs> living. <laughs> well, I think I was only considered more of a Barbie because I'm in all pink. You know yeah, I mean? people recognize it. If it was just a, uh, any other silk stone, they wouldn't like, have got what it. Is this? Yeah. Obviously, this one is iconic. Yeah, exactly. Um, Malibu is um, second iconic, I yeah. think. Because the hair. And I'm just pink. <laughs> Yeah. I'm a Tweeble still. <laughs> and I'm just a Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sunday, no, Monday. What's today, Sunday? It's Sunday night. Monday. Drag Con is done. Our feet are done. We had our first meal of the day um, a couple of hours ago. Me, Christian, um, Bijan, and Mark. Barbie one, Barbie two, Barbie three, and Barbie four. I forgot to recap with them. Oh, with Malibu. I know, I really wanted to, but I felt like we just needed to have like some no yeah. phone, no camera time. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, anyway, I have had such a great time. I've spent hours taking the makeup off my skin. <laughs> um, it's still coming off, but you know. I had so much fun. I, this is something I wanted to like do for a long time. It was like on my bucket list, if you will. Mm -hmm. And getting to do it with Christian, and Mark and Bijan, um, such a treat. They're such pros, they're so inspiring. I've always told you guys how much I adore them. And um, they're just the coolest people with such great knowledge. And all of us put together, I think we turned out pretty good. Yeah. So I definitely gonna work on my makeup because I look like Camille Grammer if she were a man. And that's cool because this was the first time I did makeup like that severe. My whole career of doing makeup was super light-handed for like European clients that wanted like the no makeup makeup look. Do you know what I mean? And that's really hard to do. It takes a long time. But I had a lot of fun just like letting go and like layering and painting and painting. So I just have to get better at it, block my eyebrows better, contour the jawline better because I have a very strong jawline. Um, but yeah, um, I think that's about it. We fly out tomorrow morning. Christian goes back to Vegas. I go back to Seattle. Yes. Gotta clean the makeup sad table. Times. I know. I feel like packing is always like I know. the saddest thing. We were like really sad saying goodbye tonight. We were in WeHo having dinner and I don't know, it's just- Well that's why when you're going uh, saying goodbye, you have to plan another one. For sure. Like even if it's like next year, plan it. <laughs> I think we kind of sketched out a couple of options. Yeah. So. No, it um, has to be this year. Something has to happen this year. And like soon. Yes. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes. Um, if you guys have ideas, as to what types or era of Barbies you guys think we should be. Obviously, we're all Barbie girls. Um, let us know, let me know down in the comments if you have suggestions. We're thinking maybe of doing like one doll in multiple shade ranges or like a Barbie and a Teresa and a Kira or whatever. So let us know i know that some of you guys are very very talented with your barbie knowledge especially of the 80s and 90s lines um so yeah i'll see you guys back in seattle bye and uh we just finished um going through tier three in action fun 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 <laughs> I'm back home in Seattle. It's now Monday night. I am getting ready to wind down for the day, head to sleep. 
I think all four of us are probably exhausted. Well, I know I for sure am <laughs> from lack of sleep and trying to get everything finished and done in time for DragCon. But uh, I just wanted to share that I absolutely had such a great time this weekend. Um, my voice is still very much reflecting that. <laughs> I could not have asked a better group of guys to go with. Um, Christian and Mark and Bijan, they are some of the nicest people I've ever met. I have known them for a short while now, and we have always had such a fun banter back and forth online. Obviously, I had Christian on my channel a few months ago when he was visiting New York when I was still living there. They're, they're just so caring and, um, you know, very selfless with their knowledge and very willing to share their experience. Um, it was so fun, be, you know, hoteling and rooming with Christian. He's just such a sweet guy. I really feel like they're like long lost, bro like blood brothers. <laughs> like they're my own family. So, uh, yeah, I loved going to the convention, loved seeing some of the drag queens that we all adore. I saw Alyssa Edwards, I saw Gia Gunn, I saw, um, who's the one? Blair Sinclair, oh my goodness. Legit thought she was a real girl. I was like, who is this ferocious being? And it was Blair Sinclair. So if you've never seen her in person, you know who she is. Let me tell you, from me to you, she's a real woman. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this blog or blog, it's my first one. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, let me know. I could do more of these. Um, and, you know, like I said earlier, let me know what dolls you guys think we should do next, because I want this to be something that we do um, every year, or in some way, shape, or form, you know, more frequently. But uh, yeah, I hope that you guys are having a great day wherever you are, lots of love for me to you thank you for watching i hope that you enjoyed coming to drag con with me in la if you've been share your thoughts and let me know what you know you guys loved about your conventions that you went to um if you've never been and you want to go i think you should save up for it make it happen so anyway i will see you guys again next week for another video thanks for watching bye by the way, I realized that I probably don't think I ever actually shared who I saw at DragCon. <laughs> um, just to be honest, it, it wasn't really even about that for me. I know it sounds bizarre, but it was just kind of like the whole experience that I was living for, right? So, um, saw Alyssa Edwards, who I love. I watched her whole show, the whole season, adored it. Saw um, Adore Delano, out of drag. Saw Pheromone, out of drag. Saw Gia Gunn in drag, um, though I think she's now trans, I don't know, but saw Blair Sinclair, um, saw Trixie Mattel, oh my god, hello, um, and I think so many of you guys were like super shook that we took a picture with her, but I actually know her outside of drag. <laughs> we have been chatting for a little while now, and um, out of drag, Trixie is Brian, and he is the sweetest guy, and he's a big vintage Barbie collector. So uh, we love to chat to ch chat. We love to chat about Barbie and um, all things Barbie. And uh, hopefully someday soon, I'll be able to have him on my channel because he wants to film together. So stay tuned for that. Who else do we see? Um, I feel like. I'm sorry, I just had a cookie. Um, I feel like I saw a bunch of other people, but again, I was just more excited about the experience of being there. Do you know what I mean? Um, and I was, <laughs> to be honest, I was with three celebrities of my own. Like, between Christian and Mark and um, Malibu, like, so many of you guys were coming up and talking to them and totally like, fangirling. It was the cutest thing. And I ended up meeting a couple of you guys as well, so thank you for coming up and saying hi. But yeah, um, I'm sure there's like a million things that I'm not including that I wanted to or had planned to. I had a list, but since I'm filming on my phone, the list is on my phone and I 
can't ask that. <laughs> anyway, that's all. I'll see you guys later.